Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 23rd of November 1963, the first ever episode of cult science fiction television show Doctor Who was broadcast by the BBC. Doctor Who was originally conceived to bridge the gap in the Saturday evening television schedule between the adult-oriented sports programme Grandstand and the more teenage-focused music programme Jukebox Jury. The idea of a time-travelling science fiction series appealed to Sidney Newman, the BBC's new head of drama, who came up with the idea of a time machine that was bigger on the inside, belonging to a character known as The Doctor. An Unearthly Child was the first of a four-part serial that saw actor William Hartnell take the role of the time-travelling Doctor, a character he played for three years. Produced by Verity Lambert and directed by Warris Hussain, the episode was taped as live on the 27th of September. On viewing the material, Newman was unhappy with many elements, such as technical problems and performance errors that included fluffed lines. Consequently, a second version was taped on the 18th of October. The show received a generally positive reception, even though its launch was affected by a power cut in parts of the country, as well as being significantly overshadowed by the assassination of John F. Kennedy the previous day. These factors led to the first episode being shown again directly before the second episode the following week and resulted in increased viewing figures. The popularity of Doctor Who skyrocketed with the second serial. The Daleks both mesmerised and terrified viewers. Although the storyline had originally been rejected due to it featuring so-called bug-eyed monsters. 